Baby, keep it solid. We ain't even deep as you used to be. This shit sweet to body. Brad got no hustle or nothing, so he gon' stick to body. I be knowing the run down, I'm doubting, so I can't speak about it. She know I'm a dancer, she love me, I've been a freak about it. What's going on, YouTube? Nick Triggers, and I'm back with another video. So, before we get started, I just want to put my prayers and thoughts out to everybody in North Carolina, to Georgia, anybody that got hit by that hurricane. I just want to put out my condolences, anybody that lost anybody, anybody that lost a home. I know a lot of people are having to deal with some hard times right now. So, if you find it in your heart, go donate to the Red Cross and just reach out and see if you have family there, make sure they're okay. But with that being said, <clears throat> hang on, I'll throw one of these puppies in. Let's, oh. come on now, dog. Come on, man. With that being said, let's <clears throat> talk about things to get before the election. If y'all know, if y'all didn't know, you should the election season is coming up so here soon we will be dealing with the new president and honestly i don't know how to feel because what y'all should what y'all should know is that every government every power that you that you give the government they will take full advantage of and abuse it. So I honestly just don't trust any politicians, whether I vote for them, whether I don't vote for them, whether they get put into office or whether they get elected, I don't trust them. So do your due diligence. You can write in people for presidency, just so you know, but I know most of y'all are gonna be voting for Donald Trump. And I mean, would it be cool to not have to worry about assault weapons bans for four years? Gonna come. Oh. Here's, yeah, that'd be cool, but also, I just don't trust, I don't like politicians. And I know that people say Donald Trump's not a politician, but he, you gotta know politics if you wanna be a businessman. You gotta know, you gotta know taxes, you gotta know politics, you gotta know all of that. So, First thing I would get is some books. So there's some super nice books out there. Anarchist, uh, I think it's the Anarchist Handbook or something or something like that. Go get books on different strategies. Get read up on how to build water supplies. Read up on how to store food properly. Just get the knowledge of because you don't know what could come in the next four years you don't know what what could happen in the next four years a lot of people think oh just buy your ar-15 you'll be okay buy your ar-15 buy your ammunition which is something you should buy ammunition is something you should buy for this election season because who knows they might try to tax it like 500 percent and if i can just say oh it's it's not infringing on your second amendment rights but in all actuality <clears throat> yes and food ammo water they're all essential but knowledge is something they can never take away from you if you have it in here they cannot take it away from you all they can do <clears throat> is line you up against a wall and shoot you. And that's the only way they can take your knowledge from you. So read up, get knowledgeable. Also, if you do have AR-15s, buy yourself some extra gas rings, buy yourself an extra bulk carrier group, and buy yourself all the components that go out, maybe buy an extra barrel buy all that type of stuff because you don't know when or if they're gonna set it up so that 
the taxes on the parts are going to be outrageous. So just make sure you have everything to keep it running. Make sure you get enough oil for it. Make sure you get batteries. These batteries are very important, <clears throat> especially if you have a <clears throat> like a holographic like that one right there. Make sure you get batteries. Um, also, if you have an EDC, make sure you get more magazines, magazines for your ARs, magazines for your EDC. And that's one reason why I haven't got a 300 blackout because I figure if I could spend more money on 5.56, nine millimeter, 12 gauge, I could say I could, it'll be better in the long run because everybody has those calibers and a lot of people are shooting those calibers. So if anything were to happen, I could just snatch a mag, throw it in my gun and then get back to work. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you have magazines for what you need. And when push comes to shove, if SHTF did happen or we did have to go to war, make sure that you you train up your family and teach them how to use your firearms because who knows, they might do a draft and they might send all, everybody who's well-bodied and able in the mail to the Middle East or wherever. I'm not saying that I'd help, but I would not get shot. I would not get shot from uh, whoever it is. I would definitely shoot back at whoever's shooting at me. That's for damn sure. But just train up your family on how to use your firearms. Train them up. Teach them how to safely take it apart. Teach them the ins and outs of how it works, the things that might need to be replaced, how to troubleshoot, stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure that the, in the um, if something happens like that, there'll be ample time to to get ready. But it's written on the wall. Y'all, yeah, so get in your Bible. If you don't, if you don't read the Bible, just just take a glance into it. We are in the last days. Multiple things happen that have been happening. The writing's been on the walls for years. We are in the last days, so just make sure you're praying because eternal life is way better than eternal damnation. So just make sure you're fighting a good fight. This is just a short little video on uh, just me showing off my guns, gun wall. Um, and just tell your family you love them, you know. Make sure they're okay. Make sure they're doing okay. Um, I hope all y'all are doing okay. Just hit 2K subs. I appreciate every last one of y'all. Let's try to get this video to 20 likes. I know it's asking for so much. 20 likes on a video is crazy but smack that like button please i appreciate it and i will see y'all in the next one peace out don't forget to check out pimbleton and sun industries for your binary and your anvil frts with that further ado i will see y'all in the next one peace